Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm back for Purple Onion Designs and today I'm going to make a couple of very simple cards using these sweet stamps called Olive and Sam. So I'll get started by using my stamp and magic to place olive on the card in the corner and I'll be using some Ranger archival ink And this one's called Jet Black. I'm going to stamp Olive twice. Once on this blush cardstock, which is cut just smaller than my card front, which is a 12 centimeter square. And then I'll stamp it on some white cardstock. I don't need my stamp my cheek for that, will I? Okay, so while that dries, I'll stamp out. Sam and this time I've got some blue cardstock so this is kind of going to be a matching pair and I'll be stamping him with some Jenny Bolan this is called Spice Tin which is a really nice dark blue I'll do the same again I'll be stamping this on a piece of white, white cardstock as well I'll pick out some pieces of the image that I'll be uh, fussy cutting and paper piecing. So these cards have been on my to-do list ever since I saw this awesome card made by Darnell. So thank you very much for the inspiration. I'll put a link to Darnell's card on my blog. So that'll be in the about in the description below the YouTube video and I'll also list all the products that I've used there as well. For my sentiment I'll be embossing in white and I have a stamp from Hot Scotch Sentiments and it says congrats. So use some Versamark ink and emboss it in white and hit it with my heat tool. The sentiment on my boys card is from the mini sentiment set and it says little prints and I'll emboss that in white as well. Because it's such a small stamp I'm using a second stamp on my block to stabilize it when I stamp so I don't rock the stamp. I'm simply using my Uniball gel white pen now and creating a border around both the cards. I'll just set these aside to dry for a little bit because the gel does take a few minutes to dry and you don't want to bump it. Now to adhere my pieces of white cardstock I'll just use a little bit of Tombow And I'll just use my Glue Glider Pro to attach the panels to my card fronts. I've just left a, about a 2 or 3mm border around the edges. 
and it's a 12 centimeter square card base. So, very simple cards today and really cute stamps too. I just love these. Sweet bears. So. Thanks for stopping by today. I've had heaps of fun. I'll be back again real soon with some more cards for Purple Onion Designs. So until then, happy paper crafting. Bye.